and this hair will get tangled. So like, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> So my upload schedule might be a little sporadic recently, <laughs> and that's only because I have like a bunch of videos and stuff, and it's kind of hard for me to set aside time for editing. So I'm just going to be uploading like whenever I get a chance to. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Chad. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a Hasbro Disney doll to share with you guys. So we're going to take a look at this Rapunzel. Um, this is from the Disney Princess line by Hasbro. Bro. And um, this one is a special one. It's not just their normal, like, what I like to consider the competition for the fashionistas. They have, like, their $10 version or their $10 to $12 Disney doll, which is kind of like the Barbie fashionista. Um, this one is kind of like a hair play, hair gimmick kind of doll. Um, I think she was $15, I want to say, or $20. She might have been $20. Um, and... I think she's really cute, first of all, but I wanted to do a review and see for myself if I think that she was worth $20. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at her. So it looks like she has 18 inches, which is 45 centimeters, roughly, worth of hair. If I remember, I will get out my other Rapunzel dolls so that way I can kind of compare them. Um, I'm really interested to see what kind of hair quality they have because I have not been super impressed with um, Hasbro's hair quality. They've been using a cheap nylon for a lot of the doll's hair. Um, Ariel has been fine. They, the Ariel with like the red hair for some reason is a really nice texture, but like all of the other ones have had a cheap feeling material. Like the, the nylon they're using, it feels dry to the touch. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just cheaper. It's not as nice. So, um, I'm interested to see what kind of hair they used and why this doll is $20. So, um, let's see. On the back of the box, you just have a picture of the doll, which is heavily photoshopped and does not look like the doll. I think the doll looks cuter than that. Like, this is what you got, and I'm happy with this. This is what the, the photograph looks like, and it looks weird to me for some reason. I'm not, not quite sure why. Um, but it says Disney Princess, lots and lots of hair, and then it just says lots and lots of hair in other languages. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, quick and to the point. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get her out of the box and we'll see what all this lots and lots of hair is about. <laughs> all right, so I've got her out of the box. <laughs> um, I do want to show you she comes with one accessory. It is a very simple hairbrush and it has like the sun, like her emblem that you see all over the movie, uh, molded onto the back. But anyway, here she is. So she has tons of hair <laughs> as promised it was not false advertisement you can kind of see like if I hold her like this you can kind of see how much longer the hair is from the doll um, it's a it's almost double the length of the doll itself so let me show you up close her face so here is her face I think she looks super cute um, I will say that Rapunzel is one of the dolls from Hasbro that Hasbro did really well. I feel like I really like the face. I think it's just because they're make, taking a princess that her animation is already 3D and turning it into a doll. So maybe it's just easier to do. I don't know. But I think that she looks super cute and I actually really like that. Okay, so I looked up the price and um, on Target she is $15. $14.99. So comparing her to like the $10 counterparts, I don't have any of those to really compare to. Um, I have a Barbie fashionista somewhere. I kind of compared her in the last couple videos, but um, I don't really want to bother with all that. Let me just kind of show you what you get for $15. So you've got the, the brush that I showed you already. Um, and then here's the doll. She's got really, really, really long hair. Um, so she is a hair play doll. Um, she doesn't have any kind of hair accessories, which is kind of surprising for being a hair play doll, especially since she does not have any shoes because Rapunzel is barefoot, so they took advantage of that and did not give her shoes. 
Um, she has it a molded on top, and we all know how doll collectors feel about molded on and painted on clothing. Um, we're not huge fans of it, <laughs> usually. I mean, some collectors like it, but um, I'm not a huge fan of molded on clothing, mainly because, you know, it limits the, the ability to um, redress the dolls if you want to. But also, I think that... Um, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, I just like the higher quality of having like actual fabric clothing and stuff like that. The skirt, while it is very pretty, the, it has like iridescent spots or iridescent glitter all over it to make it kind of sparkly. And it's much, much better than normal glitter, um, because it's not really coming off. I can't tell if it's paint or if it's glitter. No, I think it's glitter. Yeah, it's definitely glitter, but it's like an iridescent glitter, and it's really pretty. Um, it has an elastic waist for the for the skirt to, um, you know, come off if you want to change her outfit. Um, she has like an indent right here where the skirt is supposed to hit, so that way it will always, you know, sit at that perfect spot underneath her bodice. Um, the material, let's just listen. You can kind of tell. It's kind of that plasticky, papery kind of material, so very um, inexpensive, shall we say? Um, and yeah, um, with the painted on top, budget, budget, budget. It's a budget doll, um, and you know, like it's it's not a twenty dollar doll. It's not a twenty five dollar doll. So like, I'm not really expecting much on that front. Um, you know, being fifteen dollars. I would kind of expect a little bit more because, like, honestly, the $10 counterpart to this, let's look and see. I have the website pulled up here. If you have the Rapunzel doll, well, there's that one. Where's just the regular one? Okay, for some reason, I can't find uh, Rapunzel on the website for just the regular Disney dolls. But, for example, here is Cinderella. It's a similar doll. Um, it's just a basic one with the molded on, painted on top, and a skirt but she has a crown and she has shoes, no brush, and this doll is, what, $10. Like, I'm not even joking. It's a $10 doll. Uh, and the same thing for Pocahontas, um, who has moccasins, uh, $10 doll. Um, you know, same one, same thing, um, with the molded on top and everything, but she also comes with a hair accessory. This doll doesn't have a hair accessory. Um, the Rapun they have a Rapunzel in that collection, but her hair is about this short. So, like, it's long, but it's not all the way down to her feet. So, for $10, you get additional accessories, you get shoes, <laughs> no hairbrush, and much shorter hair. Um, but for $15, you know, for five more do you pay five more dollars for all this extra hair. So, I don't, I, I, I'm guessing doll hair must be expensive. Maybe that's what it is? I don't know. You can kind of tell from my tone that I'm not super impressed. <laughs> um, but, so, here's the thing. I'm also really big about doll hair quality. On a scale of, like, one to five for, like, the quality of the hair, five being, like, Rainbow High or um, OMG dolls from MGA, because that's nylon hair as well, and that's really high quality, um, all the way down to, like, dollar store dolls being a one, this hair is probably, like, a three. It's not really bad, but it's also not good. Like, the hair at the bottom is already, like, starting to get frizzy, and this hair will get tangled. So, like, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not super impressed with the hair quality, but, it, I mean, it's not the worst. Um, but, yeah, so, and, oh, the other thing is her arms don't move out. They are the swivel only, so they just go around in circles like this. And then the legs kind of go out a little bit. Um, she can sit and then move her legs back. Uh, so, basic five points of articulation. I don't know. I mean, I'm not completely mad at it. I think my favorite thing about her is her face. I think that she's super cute. But um, for $15, I was hoping for a little bit more, I think. Now, if you saw one of my other videos where I compared the Pocahontas dolls from the Disney store, and I kind of talk about the quality and stuff like that, um, you'll probably remember that I mentioned um, that companies, when they have the license for Disney princess dolls, they are limited as to the quality they are allowed to put out or make the doll at, um, quality-wise, because Disney wants the dolls at the store to be of the highest quality. Um, well, you have succeeded. 
<laughs> Disney has succeeded in limiting Hasbro um, because this is not the highest quality doll. It's not the highest price point either for this kind of a doll. Um, the you know that that spot is reserved for the Disney store dolls. I much prefer them. I much prefer the quality of the materials used uh, and the accuracy and the way they look. Although like, I really like this face. I'm not mad at this face. I think she is super cute. Hold on. Let me just one more time. Let's let's really look at her face and appreciate. The face paint was done really well. So, and then, you know, like if you have her hair tied back on the side, it'd be really cute. But I think overall, for the price that I paid, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, knowing that she didn't have shoes when I bought her, knowing she didn't have any other accessories, and that it was a molded painted on top, I was hoping for a higher quality hair. Um, so I'm a little disappointed. Um, so, kind of a fail. I don't know. It, what do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think about this doll. Um, I'm, I don't really collect the Hasbro dolls, I just really liked her face. And I might give her a made to move body, and I might do a body swap just to give her more articulation, because like I said, I really like the face. I'm just not sure if I'm happy with what Hasbro is putting out for my collection as an adult doll collector. So, I don't know. Um, as always, you know, I think it's up to you to decide if the doll is worth it, if it's something that you want to add to your collection. Um, that is your choice to make. I'm not saying whether you should or should not get the doll. I got her and, you know, I'm a little, like, disappointed in the quality, but I do like her. So if that helps at all. <laughs> anyway, um, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Pretty simple. She, you know, there's not a whole lot to look at here. Uh, oh, I did want to compare to the Disney Store dolls. Hold on. Let me see if I can find them. Okay, so I looked and apparently I've already moved the box that I had with my Disney dolls in it over to my parents' house already. So I don't have my other Rapunzel doll to compare to. But if that's something that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a second video. It'll probably be a very short video video, but um, I might make a second video if, if you do want to see that. Comparing the Hasbro doll, the ha Hasbro Rapunzel doll, to the Disney Store dolls, and um, we can kind of see a price comparison versus what all comes in the box and stuff. Oh, she's shedding. There's, <laughs> there's, oh my gosh, it feels like a lot more because the hair is so long, but yeah, she's, she's shedding. Um, on that note... <laughs> I think I'm going to get going. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, why not subscribe? You already watched the whole video. You know you like hanging out with me and looking at dolls. So why not? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get going. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> if you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.